it's filled with innumerable mortal and god figures, the Aeneid has only a handful of main characters. The first is Aeneas. Aeneas is the hero of the Aeneid, and he's honorable, pious, measured, generous, and responsible. And like many heroes, he carries divine blood. His mother is the goddess Venus, so he's big, handsome, and supernaturally strong. However, Virgil gives him human faults as well. At times, Aeneas is unsure or conflicted, and he can get carried away by his feelings. Aeneas has an important fate awaiting him. A fictional hero written into historical battles, he's destined to found the line of leaders in Italy that develops into Romans. The goddess Juno is Aeneas's main antagonist, opposing him from start to finish. She never stops scheming to try to prevent Aeneas's fate. Her enmity for the Trojans springs from losing a contest between goddesses to choose who was most beautiful. Frustrated in her marriage to Jupiter, she is jealous, vengeful, and holds a grudge. But her powers cannot change Aeneas' destiny, which has been set by the fates. Turnus is the primary hero for the Latin forces that fight Aeneas in Italy. Like Aeneas, he's large, attractive, unusually strong, and the son of a goddess, a more minor one. He fights heroically in battle, but unlike Aeneas, he's impulsive and arrogant, with an exaggerated sense of his own importance. Turnus represents the destiny of those who arrogantly oppose the power of Rome. They will be defeated. Queen Dido is pushed by Aeneas' mother Venus and Juno, Carthage's own patron goddess, into a love for Aeneas that is very close to madness. Aeneas' fate inevitably takes him away, and the madness drives Dido to dramatic suicide. <sighs> Virgil also gives her death historical consequences, attributing it as the root of the long conflict between Carthage and Rome. Dido is a memorable symbol of the tragic consequences when the careless will of the gods conflicts with the inevitability of fate. Anchises is Aeneas' father. Wise and strong in character, he always does what he thinks is best for his son. He isn't always right. He too displays human failings, but he is clearly the source of Aeneas' values. He exemplifies the Roman ideal of respect and honor for family in the all-important relationship between a father and a son. Jupiter is the king of the gods, and he manages other gods and mediates between them when there's conflict. He is responsible for ensuring that what the fates have predicted comes to pass sooner or later. He indulges his wife Juno and his daughter Venus in their efforts up to a point. Virgil portrays him as mostly calm and measured, in contrast to Juno's vengeful anger, and as the enforcer of Aeneas' fate. Jupiter supports its inevitability. Venus is Aeneas' mother and his most ardent supporter. She repeatedly advocates on behalf of her son and intervenes in events to protect Aeneas as much or more than Juno intervenes to obstruct him. Like all the gods, she doesn't think about how her meddling affects other mortals. Venus represents the spectrum of love, from parental to passionate. 